हेलो एवरीवन आई एम मोहम्मद रफीक वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल रफीक इंजीनियरिंग ड्राइंग इन दिस वीडियो वी विल सी द सेक्शंस ऑफ सॉलिड क्वेश्चन नंबर टू सो हियर व्हाट यू हैव गिवन विद यू हैव गिवन विद ए क्यूब ऑफ साइड 35 फाइव एम एम लॉन्ग एडजस्ट सो इन द सेक्शंस ऑफ सॉलिड फर्स्ट यू हैव टू सी द सॉलिड वेयर इट इज रेस्टिंग एंड हाउ इट इज रेस्टिंग सो दिस क्यूब इज रेस्टिंग ऑन वेयर ऑन एच पी how it is resting by what it is resting on one of its faces with vertical face inclined at 30 degree to vp so this is the important data from here to here it is related to projections of solid so first we will complete the problem then we will enter into the section part let us start the problem i will draw first the xy line so here is the xy line here i have drawn the xy line so one of the base edge or vertical face is 30 degree to the vp so here in the top view see you imagine you are looking from the top you are looking from the top the cube is placed over here and with respect to vertical plane it is inclined 30 degree like this so here we will draw the cube from the top view of side 35 mm at 30 degree so here we will take 30 degree any point random point i have taken to mark the 30 degree inclination so here is the 30 degree inclination so here we will draw a cube of side 35 mm so here is the side 35 i have taken Just to have vertical lines, I am using this perpendicularity, not vertical. Here also we will measure thirty-five millimeters. here is the complete top view of the cube here angle is 30 degree as per the question they have given now let us project the front view height will be again 35 mm only up to somewhere here this edge will be back side it will not be visible from this side so this will be hidden here here i have taken a hidden line because this is at the back side and this is the fourth vertical edge or vertical face base line also we have to draw so you know you have the basic idea about the projections of solid why because first view we have drawn the reason is from the top true shape of the object is visible to us so we have drawn this one as a first we cannot draw this if that is front view as a first diagram because height we know 35 but width we don't know if it is at 30 degree how much is the end to end width will be so that is why we have drawn the top view then we have projected and here is a complete front view now we have to give dimensions and number dimensions i will give it later on first we will go with the numbers this is 1 2 3 and 4 this is on the top surface of the cube so top surface is here 1 dash 2 dash 3 dash and 4 is a back side these are the things then afterwards back side bottom surface of the cube if you see there we will keep alphabets a b c and d so here comes a dash 
b dash c dash this is d dash so here you can put one dimension here you can put one dimension that i will do it later so cause space availability all those things we need to see after completion of this now we have done till here 30 degree to vp we have taken 30 degree 35 mm cube we have, we have drawn it is on hp so it is touching to the xy line in front of vp how much it is not given we can take 30 degree anywhere that doesn't matter now let us continue the question from here it is cut by a section plane inclined at 60 degree to vp so cutting plane should be inclined with respect to vp 60 degree so assume there is a cutter like this the cutter is coming and cutting this cube in this way or in this way what way this cutter with respect to vp it should be at 60 degree like this or 60 degree you can take like this also it's up to you but one condition they have given where to take 60 degree 60 degree angle with the vp that is okay here one minute 60 degree to the vp and perpendicular to hp that is okay so that face which makes 60 degree angle with the vp so this 60 degree cutting plane where we have to take where the cuboid or cube face where it is making 60 degree angle with the vp so this is the face with respect to vp it is making 30 degree then this is the face or this is the face you have two more faces you can take either or this is a phase which is making 60 degree with the vp so here they are saying section plane where we need to take where this cube face makes 60 degree angle with the vp and you need to cut it into two equal halves so here on in short on midpoint of this four and three you can have your cutting plane intersection or you can have cutting plane intersection at the midpoint of this line why only this two line we are selecting because it is making 60 degree with respect to vp see this is 30 degree and 90 minus 30 if you do this angle this angle you will be getting 60 degree with the vp so i will be taking section plane on this that is at the midpoint here is the midpoint of this face from this midpoint we have to take 60 degree cutter like this so how to do that first 60 degree line we need to see and where 60 degree is touching to this point we have to look at our point just one minute see here at somewhere at rough side i have drawn a line which is inclined at 60 degree this is just for reference purpose nothing to do with the our problem as i am not doing with the mini drafter so that is why this was required for me to take it now what i will do i will align this line with this scale this scale with this line now this scale is at 60 degree what you do from this point we need to pass a line at 60 degree so parallel to this line which we have taken here i will move scale like this like this so here i will draw the line now this is 60 this is also 60 degree here is the line and hence this is the cutting plane for you this point we will project it here at the top and this point also we will project it at the top here from this point and this point we will be getting the area from here to here let us give numbers for this one 1 2 this is a cube 1 and 2 on top side 3 and 4 at the bottom side so here bracket 3 here bracket 4 so like that here 1 dash 2 dash 3 dash and 4 dash will come like this so inside this i will do the hatching let us see So hatchings are the 45 degree line almost equally spaced around 2 mm gap between them and continuous thin lines you need to take for this here is the solution for this problem dimensions you can do it here and here it's up to you if you have any doubts please keep it in the comment box i will give the answers for your questions and
like subscribe and share my channel one minute this is not the end of the problem here it is cut into two equal half means from here one equal here another equal half like that the meaning was after that what they are asking here the question is there draw the sectional front view sectional front view is drawn top view top view is completed true shape of the section what is meant by true shape of the section see from here to here is the width of the cutting things height we know which is 35 and this width is also 35 but here if you look for the front view from this direction we are able to see reduce length as it is inclined like this so in the front view we will be able to see reduce length so here they are asking what is the true shape that is the actual size of the section so section side view we have to draw in a fair work i will show you at this side see whenever you are looking in this direction then only you will be able to see the actual width of this so what you need to do what is the procedure to draw true shape of the section is you have to take a line parallel to this cutting plane at some distance like this you can imagine this as a new xy line and you transfer this points on the new xy line like this just to project and extend any distances okay parallel to this cutting plane we have taken another xy line parallel to this at away certain distance here it should not intersect with the older points another thing is that this points on the section line we have projected like this and extended to certain length now what you need to do is you need to measure the distances of 1 2 3 and 4 this new surface area which has came after cutting that is new sectional front view this distances four points distances you need to measure from this x y line and same you need to transfer on from this x y line so point number four point number four is here and point number three three and four are on x y line itself so here this is the three which will come on x y line itself here is the point number four from this which comes on the same reference line here you can put three suffix one or three double dash it's up to you and four double dash then from four to one distance is 35 mm and from three to two that is from xy to two and xy to point number one from old xy line we are measuring the distance of point one and point two so which is 35 mm and from new xy line we will transfer the same thing 135 one point as 35 this second point point number two is also at 35 so here is the actual shape of the section which we have drawn here this one this is one double dash and this is two double dash now one more thing is left hatching should be done for this section also here some people will say that 45 degree with respect to this new xy line or some people says that means uh, i am talking about authors from the various test books from old xy line only it should be at 45 so depends upon the different authors they will use their own convenience their own conventions it is everything is standard no need to worry i will go with old xy line at 45 degrees same angle i will be following up here so here are the hatching lines That's it guys in this video. Hope you like the explanation. Please like, subscribe and share. Thanks for watching everyone.